Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Donners Football one box blaster break number one, random team break with seven Bono's mixer spots being given away. We're actually pretty close to knocking out that mixer, so check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. So as always, we're going to do the break itself first, and at the end of the break, we'll re-randomize everybody's names, and the top seven will get spots in the Bono's football mixer. Big thanks to all of these folks right there, from Mike all the way down to Mike, first spot and last spot. He gets the last spot mojo star next to his name. All 32 football teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a five, seven times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got Raymond down to Riley. Two and a five, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got the Jaguars down to the Arizona Football Cardinals. Big win for them over Seattle. Well, that's a surprise finish there. Didn't expect that to happen, actually. I thought the game would be close. And then now they're talking... Uh, Dallas Cowboys are in trouble. There's for Raymond down to there. There's the first half of the list right here. So this is 2020. So we got to look for the usual suspects, right? We got to look for Chargers. Colton could be like Justin Herbert rated rookie opportunities in here. Got to look for the Dolphins. Bradley, I think Tua is going to make his first start on uh, this Sunday. And all the others, of course. Kevin with Joe Burrow. All right, so I'm not going to read off all these names. Let's just dive into the break itself. No trade windows in these things. So let's just print rip. This, this is, uh, if you, I don't know if you're hearing this in the background, but all the, all the Cowboys drama here. I think part of it with new coaches COVID, the pandemic, limited all sorts of practice time, getting to know, especially with new coaches, getting to know you time, here's a new philosophy, here's a new this, here's a new that. So without that, I, th I think that, that creates a lot, of, a lot of issues. You know, I think a lot of the new, a lot of players, a lot of teams with new coaches or new quarterbacks are definitely struggling. You think if Belichick had a full camp, you know, you don't. Do you think he'd be having this many issues with Cam Newton? He started off the season well, but you know, it, it, that gets difficult. I think we we talked about this before the season started. We were like, hey, what teams have new coaches and what teams have new new head coaches, new offensive coordinators, new quarterbacks? Those are going to be the teams that are going to are more more likely than not going to uh, face a lot of a lot of struggles. Now, of course, the Cowboys have also had a lot of devastating injuries, but that's what makes that div more difficult to bounce back from. When you, in my opinion, when you when you have a new head coach trying to instill new philosophies. Here it is, and we'll re-randomize your names with a new dice roll. Do that. So let's see what let's see what we got here. Ooh, Joe Burrow, rookie phenoms relic. Now Joe Burrow was playing Cleveland, right? If I'm not mistaken. Neighborhood, what's going on? How are you? Right, and Cleveland, they lost Odell Beckham Jr. to a knee injury from the from the get-go. But Baker Mayfield ended up throwing a bunch of bombs, a bunch of TDs, and won that game. 
He scored 20 points in the fourth quarter. It's Henry Ruggs. My Raiders did not... I guess... I guess not having their your offensive line practice, you know, all week long, I guess that ended up hurting them. And, and exactly, yeah, and I was getting to the... Yeah, Odell Beckham Jr. now has an ACL. His season is done. So how will how will the Browns go forward with that? Some are arguing that Browns might actually be better <laughs> without a uh, without Odell Beckham Jr. Or at least they'll learn how to play better without Odell Beckham Jr. You know what I mean? And then. When he does come back, if and when he does come back, then it'll just be a nice little, a, a nice little cherry on top for their for their offense. It's kind of banged up a little bit, but yeah, exactly. I guess B Baker Mayfield showing why he won the Heisman a, a few years ago. Neighborhood saying, "No, I mean he he started off the game terrible. I'm now now that I'm thinking about this game, I'm pretty sure that Odell Beckham Jr. play, nice Justin Herbert." Happened like in the first first series, maybe the first quarter. Baker threw a really bad interception, and Odell Beckham Jr. was was chasing after the the interceptee, the inter interceptor. He was the interceptee. He was chasing after the interceptor, and that's where he that's where he got his knee banged up. There's Colton, and then he then he turned it around and looked great. JMS saying Steelers, Ravens play two times in the next five weeks. That'll certainly surely determine the AFC North and possibly the one seed. Let me guess though, JMS. Chase Claypool a bust. Lamar Jackson a bust, right? Who else does JMS not like on that team? Lamar Jackson won't make it for another season or two. Is this your starting quarterback now for the Cowboys? Ben DiNucci? I don't think I don't think Andy Donaldson recovering from that that concut he's not gonna get out of concussion protocol easily enough. I don't know. So we'll top load that just in case he goes off. We may as well top load that other one too, just in case he goes off. Just because I'm a Raiders fan, so we'll get that. All right, so there you go. Now, the whole point of this, of course, is to see who wins those bow nose mixer spots. You got a chance to win a, not only is the mixer great where you can get stuff out of the mixer, but you also have a chance to win a full-size Bo Jackson helmet. Check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's get everybody's names in here. There's the dice roll right there. So it's the top seven after eight. Top seven after eight. We'll get into the mixer. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, the top seven is now from first of all, from eight down to thirty two. Thanks for giving this a shot. We actually have to do a couple more of these, so if you want to give it another go, please feel free to do so. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Congrats to Steven, Mike, Josh, Colton, Michael Hansen, Karen, and Robert. There's the top seven right there. Thanks for getting into the action. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's knock out the other ones. Let's do that mixer tonight. jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.